Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to have a look at the Fedora 42 pre release or testing release on the Libre computer Alta. So here you can see that we have kernel 6.13 and KDE on Wayland. Now, as I said, it's a testing release or pre-release. So you can uh, download it. So if you look at the bottom, you can see the link uh, and that will forward you to the latest test. So when you scroll a little bit down, you can see that there are a lot of options. And I went with KDE Live. Now during the installation, I think it's always a good idea to enable the third party repositories and when you click on that then the button changes into disable but it should be like this um, so because if you would click it again when it says disabled then it is disabled after you've clicked on it so uh, it has to look like this and then you can just continue the installation. Now, one of the other things I noticed was that there is, let's just say a GUI thingy that will let you do an update. And I think it pops up here on the bottom but it didn't work for me. Um, perhaps in the future um, that it will start working because in the end what I did was just a sudo dnf update in the terminal and then I saw that it imports two keys. And I have the suspicion that that was the reason why the GUI uh, updater wasn't working for me. So hopefully the, that will get fixed in the future. And if not, then you can just do sudo dnf updates in the terminal. Um, yeah, one of the things is, is that it looks like that uh, yeah, with default settings, then audio isn't working. But uh, luckily, uh, they have a forum. And this is the actual fix. So you can just execute all these commands in a terminal. Um, reboot, just to be sure. And from there, the audio should be working. Now, what I usually do is just a quick test with WebGL Aquarium. So, almost pushing 50 frames per second. Sometimes it drops a bit, somewhere in the 30s. And if we test 5,000 fishes, then let's just say it's around 10 frames per second. Now, as I said, that it's a good thing to enable the third party repositories because one of the things is um, media codecs. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get uh, 
hardware video decoding working uh, with Firefox at the moment. I'll try to investigate that a bit further, but yeah, at the moment it's watchable, but it's not the most fluid experience. So we have VP9, 720p, 60 frames per second. And you can see there's a lot of dropped frames. It looks acceptable, but it's not the smoothest experience. And I installed the plugin Not Yet AV1. Because AV1, um, yeah, that needs even more processing power. So, one of the other things that I want to test is uh, Vulcan. So, by default, there's only one device, and that's LLVM pipe. So, that's not really running on the GPU. Interesting thing is, is that they do tell you how to uh, enable running Vulkan on the GPU. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not conformant yet. So, um, yeah, I tried Ether SX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator, but, uh, didn't want to run with, uh, this setting. Um, well, just as a test, we can do the cube. So here you can see that it says it's running on LLVM pipe. But if we change this setting and we do VK cube again, now it says it's running on the Mali G52 GPU through Panfrost. Um, yeah, just, um, yeah, there was one other thing that with Ether SX2 audio wasn't working. And when I ran it from the terminal, then I could see that it was looking for this file lib a sound module pcm pipewire.so in a specific directory but that directory is not available on fedora 42 for arm so i created the directory i copied the file from uh, let's see yeah, from here, user lib64 also lib. And then with sudo, I created the directories and copied the file. And then audio started to work with Ether SX2. But I was actually looking for this setting to enable OpenGL 3.3. So now if we try Ether SX2 and just to show you that the Vulcan driver is not conformant. So with this setting, if we try to run it, then we get an error. So. 
we fall back to OpenGL, So now that we have audio, then when you significantly drop below 30 frames per second, then you can also hear the performance issues with the audio. So I'm going to, to stop it. So perhaps when I uh, try to lower some more settings, then perhaps we can get a stable 30 frames per second. Who knows? Um, yeah, or that's something that I do hope that perhaps somewhere in the future that we get a fully working Vulkan driver and that we get some more performance through Vulkan. Who knows? Well, uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, I do hope that I can make Fedora 42 the main distro for my Libra computer Alta. I will try to investigate a bit more if we can get hardware video decoding working in a browser. Um, yeah, as you could see with the 4K video, uh, it looks like it is available and that the software can access the hardware video decoder. But I have to uh, investigate that a bit more. So again, I hope that Fedora 42 will become my main distro on the Libre Computer Alta. This is all for now and hope to see you again in my next video.